beads, beads for the door, beads for the doors with you shortly. It's going to probably re-bead these doors, um, basically because we have to take the glass out and re-bead them anyway. So just set this up and then I'll go with you. As you can see, I've got a homemade kind of extractor on there. Normally, I bring the table out. And we will put a different router in now. Uh, so, and it's a half inch shank, it's on it. So, I've got big devils that will do. They are set for a half inch shank, but it's just too, you know, it's too much. So, I've still, I've sold it out, I've got left now, the pedal is kind of Swedish or Norwegian or something was when I bought it. I got my tools stolen many years ago. And I had to buy Switzerland, sorry, Switzerland. I had to buy uh, something where the insurance came along and sorted out for me, but so I ended up buying these. Bought a whole dose of them I said, oh, they're very good. What a brand obviously. Um, but back then it didn't really matter as much as it does nowadays. Nowadays you've got to be seen with the the latest, whatever it be, and uh, doesn't do the job. Some of them do actually, some of them are worth the money and some of them aren't. Um, but the problem with getting really good tools is, does everyone want to steal them off you? Well it used to be on the sites at one time or on the job that nobody would steal anything off anybody else, but nowadays, mmm, they're different ball game like you know. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to run this one through and then I'll stop and then um, I was going to show you this, I'll show you the sticker in a moment once I set this one to make sure it's working. Uh, I'm trying to be get a bit movement on this morning. <laughs> Try and do a bit every day, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's murder like, you know, look at it. Uh, I was up at the hospital there the other, the other day there. I was at the doctor's the other day, I had to go eventually. So, I'll send you up for x-ray. It's very good. I'll take your blood pressure when you're here, he says to me. Is that? Okay. See, it's kind of high. So right, I said, I think it was high. It's nearly two years, year and a half, two years been that. So it was high at that time. Now I've given the machine home and checked it twice. Still high the second time. I said, it's probably something to do with coming here. <laughs> I says, I don't like coming to the doctors. I don't like going to the hospital. I don't like doing all these things like you know, okay. Uh, but anyway, it's white coat syndrome. I think they call it like you know, and. Uh, so I had the machine, got the machine home. 
check it out for a week, morning and afternoon or evening or whatever you could take your blood pressure. <laughs> if I took it through the middle of the night, I don't know where it would be, like, you know. I do more work in, when I'm in bed trying to sleep than I do actually working uh, or during the day when I'm awake. Uh, I think it's one of these things you get older. You just mind must work all overtime, I think, during the night. Just up and down, up and down. Where it comes from, I, I, I wouldn't want to repeat some of the stuff that actually you're dreaming about. I'm not sure it's sure it's a nightmare situation or not. <laughs> well, some of it may be, but you're never sure. It's just bloody hell, like, you know, God's sake, crowd. Anyway, rattle on. We're not got the hit. x ray anyway. Very nice girl, she was. But, I was in John's there. And, uh, busy. All hospitals are busy now. And so I went in and handed the car down and that. And space was away up the back. Long reception area. <coughs> so it's, it's always toasty in these hospitals. So I'm sitting there and I, and I'll give them a due up. I really wasn't waiting long. I wasn't expecting to be, there was that many people in, I wasn't expecting to be shouted as early. Because we're not really at appointment, it was just a case we went up there and wait. And uh, so, anyway, I'm sitting there and, and I'm kind of on me, I'm dozing. And the girl came out, the nurse came out, or the, whoever she is, that's the x ray person, and shouted my name. Well, she never really shouted it, she spoke it. And she was at the other end of the and, and it was the only way I went, oh, is that my name or was it not? I said, it can't be, it's a, I've only been in the place a quarter of an hour. Oh, so I better check, it sounded like it, but it was a way off. You only get one shout, by the way. You don't get, she doesn't walk up it and last once or twice. Once, you know that, you're not there, that's it. So it's a way down, it's just, it's just, what's that name you called out, excuse me, what was that name you called? What do you know? It's me. Oh, oh yes, if I've been honest with so, yeah. So I was kind of half dozing up the back there, like, you know. I thought it was my name. You know. So anyway, oh yes, come with me. Still giving you these stupid bloody goonies for you all these years ago, these things where your back head, that hangs out the bloody thing. You still get that to this day. You think they would have invented something a bit more <laughs> suitable. But no, 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 we still get that, like, you know, <laughs> I still remember these things, like, you know, oh, yes, she's just cleaning that and But she was very good, she was very good. And uh, it's a great health system we've got. But, oh, <laughs> I think it's, it's overloaded at times. There's just too many of us nowadays, I think, uh, for the to cope well with it. And, uh, so, that's that. And so, We've we'll been taking our blood pressure all week, and uh, I can't make the high head in the tail of the whole thing. And the wife said to me, oh, she's bothered with high blood pressure and that. Oh, she is a bit high, it's this, it's that. Uh, you want to go on like us? No, no, no. I said, I'm not one to even read about this stuff. I said, I'm not going to find out about it. I said, I'll hand it in. I said, I've got an appointment at the doctor's next week. I says, he'll decide, or somebody will decide whether. What's what? I says, I'm not looking up this stuff to find out where I should be running and what temperature the engine should be running at, like, you know, kind of, or as many cylinders it should be running on. And I says, eh, of course, it goes back to the smoking, of course. The smoking's a thing. Um, but, oh, I'm still smoking. I said, well, yes, I'm, I don't take any other bloody I don't take tablets at all. I take the odd, I take the odd bit of painkiller and that's it, but... Gee whiz, like, you know, 67 year old, I says, God, gotta be a plus there somewhere. And I'm still kicking around. I, mean, I know bloody young people with bloody high blood pressure nowadays. They don't bloody wonder the world we live in. There's only about high blood pressure and collapsing with heart attacks and strokes. The world we live in nowadays, gee whiz. But anyway, the bell is kind of wrong and whatnot, so I thought I'd make this quick. I want to back in the way, try and get back in the way of making some kind of video or not. I don't know whether it's appreciated, but we'll, we'll have a bash at it. Yeah. But this is what I was going to show you. This is vice versa, of course, on this. And you can do that. This is a lovely bit of uh, U-Root. 
and I do like it at times, but it's awkward to work with and awkward to find just the right piece. But for a thumbstick, this is it's not brilliant, but it's very nice. And once it's sanded down and polished up, it's glorious. It's that real depth of colour to it. It's very, very nice. But I've had to do the dowel the other way and go down into the shank with this one. Uh, which you can do, you've got to be careful when you're boring the, the 12mm hole in the, the hazel. Mm. It can get carried away with itself, so you, you just take your time. But you can do it, and I'm going to make up a, a little washer to go between them. And uh, yeah, this, this front it'll be nice, it'll be alright. So you can you can swing it the other way from doing it one, that way with the, 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 the dowel on that, the shank end, you can put the dowel on there. On the handle part, uh, you can do it that way if so wish. Uh, so, you know, you just got to be a little bit careful. The reason I, I've done it this way is because I wasn't sure that uh, boring the, the 12mm diameter in this U, mm, because there's a lot of cross grain and, and that going on in it, I can sometimes get pulled away quickly. Uh, so, I says we'll swing it the other way, which I do with some of them anyway. But, so, this is just a quick, so I'll take this fired up again here, try and make two or three. Uh, but the subscribers are slowly, I, mean, I think I'm, I can't remember it now, I can't really remember, but I think I went up one or two, so somebody out there must be enjoying it. So, all the best, we'll catch you again, cheers.